Atlanta is the land of make-believe, where you have your millionaires and millions of associates. Everybody knows everybody, but do you really know them? I am as transparent as they come. I'm just trying to get to know you guys' heart. When it comes to the social circles of women, <laughs> it's time we break the social norms of what sisterhood really looks like. Get up close and personal, and get to know each other on a deeper level. Do you ever think that you would date a woman? I can't <gasps> I'd be acting blonde? Yes. Yeah, I'm very slow, but I'm rich, and I'm very, very Let's successful. <gasps> but you can't good. check me and tell me I can say who that and who not to bring. OK, well, then, like, I, then you won't I... be on the invite list, and that's fine. To keep a sisterhood together, you have to let go of your pride and your ego. So I lost both of my breasts. I got to the hospital, and my son just was in a really bad shape. These ladies are rewriting the script and proving that age is nothing but a number. Ready? Refusing to be confined by stereotypes. Can the who's who of the Atlanta socialites show what a real sisterhood looks like? Because after all, we're bold and bougie, bitch. Don't say I'm lucky, try to get it like me. I'm trying to find a way to say a nice thing. What they need, cause I got it all. When they want another hit, I'm the one to call. My name is Gaucher Hawkins. I have the hottest breakfast spot in Atlanta, Gaucher's Breakfast Bar. I'm throwing an event to introduce my pancake and grit line. And I'm inviting all the tastemakers of Atlanta. Atlanta loves a theme. I think Atlanta theme parties is a way to show up and show out. It's very much the, I don't know if the word is socialite scene. I like Atlanta because Atlanta likes theme parties. Like, LA, we don't do theme parties. I'm not really into theme parties. But when you're trying to bond with people, you have to just kind of acquiesce. You ready, Shorty? All ready. Till death do us part, well, I can't hear ya. I met Crystal years ago. I know Crystal is going through a lot with her divorce, so I want to personally invite her to get back outside. It's me, myself, and I. It's you and all them bitches, all the hits hey. in the world. Hey! hey. All right! Miss Tenderani, if I am money. My name is Crystal Renee, no longer the Smith. You may know me by my ex-husband and my relationship with him, singer, songwriter, Grammy, actor, so on and so forth, Neo. When I got with my ex-husband, there was a lot of scrutiny and rumors and, and just a bunch of hateful, like, things towards me. I decided to leave my marriage. My ex was cheating. My next man or whatever God has for me, he won't be cheating. And if he does, his ass gonna be right over there with my ex. People, sometimes when they go outside the house, they live a different life. And once I found out about that different life, for me, the only choice and option for myself was to leave. Yes. What's going on? I didn't know you was rapping. I mean, I do a little one too. Girl, you, know you got time to do all that running restaurants and I know you know. All right, let's go out here. BBS is my alter ego. She is my stage name. So your ex got you into music or Girl, you was already well, you doing know, it? That's a funny story because the first time I ever got in a booth and he laughed at me like, Girl, please, like, yeah, right. It came out really good and everybody in the studio was like, Stuck on stupid, because I sounded good, so. But first, what's your rap name, though? OK, so Eric Bellinger gave my rap name. He calls me BBS, because like Crystal, I shine like a diamond. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I have my kids, I have my restaurant, my businesses. And a way for me to let off my steam is to be BBS. So what you basically doing? Like, you got new friends, like? I got a little admirer. You know, and he's cool, but that's not my boyfriend. Yeah. I'm, I'm looking for a hoochie daddy. Do you ever think that you would date a woman? I can't <gasps> I'm a big once. I tried it one time. So wait, you like some ladies? I am whole in a whole relationship with a whole female and have been for years. So my wife, she's not the type of person who wants to be on the scene. I really enjoy my wife being in the background. Everybody being in the spotlight doesn't always work. 
So you trying to bring me to the other side? I, I'm you got trying. some friends for me, friend? I ain't trying. So you only been with one woman? Well, it was like two girls and me. Mm. Was Neo around? No, I would never invite my husband into a bed with another woman. Mm. That for me, mm -mm. he's never even asked me for a threesome. What? Wow, that's never. crazy considering all the blogs he know, and all Because he know better. I believed all of the blogs when they were saying that Crystal had a threesome, you know, and the reason why Neo left her is because she came into the relationship world. Listen, if I had ever done a threesome with my ex-husband, I would probably still be married right now because apparently that's what he likes. <laughs> so what you doing this weekend? I don't know. I want to do a pool party. Okay. And that pool party is basically, you know, a little thing to it, like black aspen. Okay. You know, like bikinis and furs. I'm hoping that this party turns out amazing because I'm gonna be introducing my pancakes and grit line. Well, all right, well, who's gonna be there? Cause you know I do not hang out. You no, know, I might bring my girl Malaysia through. Okay, yeah. who else gonna be there? I'll uh, probably bring Tamika. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. Well, I'm excited, I'm gonna come for real. Obviously, I know that Malaysia and Tamika are good friends with my ex's ex. So I don't know what kind of reception that I'm gonna get, but at the same time, I'm gonna be open-minded and see what happens. You got a good bikini? I mean, I got a couple pieces with Anyways. the fur. Now, it better be cold, because I'm taking that thing off immediately. Even if it ain't cold, we're going to give them something to talk about. Mm -hmm. I'm Princess Banton Lofters. Um, some people call me producer princess. My husband and I own a dental practice. That's our family business. I also, of course, have been in television as a development producer for shows like The Real Housewives of Atlanta, for those who don't know. And somebody's like, oh, I'm today years old and I'm finding that out. And that's okay. Hello, Miss Princess. Hi. Welcome in. How are Thank you today? You. I'm good. So today I'm going to see Dr. Okoro at Georgia Plastic Reconstruction to do one of the last surgeries that I have. And so I asked Tamika to join me. Tamika is somebody I've known for years. I interviewed her for a few shows. That's actually how I met her. I interviewed her for Housewives, but then she moved to LA. I am Tamika Foster Raymond. A woman never tells her age. I'm old enough not to take no wooden nickels. That means I can spot a face. I was an image consultant for a long time. I worked with Lauren Hill and I worked with the Fugees, Jay-Z, Nas. I've styled a lot of people. The people that know me, they know I'm a ride or die and I like to have fun. Oh, well, thank you for coming. What are we doing here? I really haven't told a lot of people. I just felt like it was something that I had to deal with by myself. Yeah. So, 2015, mm -hmm. I went in to do a very, you know, standard routine breast reduction. Okay. And I woke up with no breasts. What do you mean none? I literally woke up and within 48 hours, I had full bilateral necrosis of my breasts. Bilateral necrosis is when the cells and the tissues die on your skin and it's usually due to lack of oxygen. I've had 11 procedures. Things people wouldn't even possibly dream of to make this happen. I had a reduction. Girl, I almost no. died. I went to Brazil. I wanted liposuction because I had a little pudge. I had yes, honey, had a, we all want to get rid of the pudge. I had a pudge and it was um, too soon after I had a baby. Okay. And I went into full cardiac arrest and <gasps> died, flatlined, died. Oh. I don't remember any of it, but I know that I wouldn't do it again, if <laughs> not electively. And then so today we're gonna do filler to try to give projection. That's correct. So you ready? Oh. So I'm at the doctor's today to get filler to give me a little projection on some nipples without making a full reconstruction. Oh, I see. I feel terrible. it a little something, Doc. I ain't gonna lie. I'm, I'm more than it now. Oh, you're doing something. Yeah, okay. I'm more than it. Wow. But here's what I find interesting. I mean, this is vanity. Because you don't need, you don't have to have it, right? Having breath includes nipples for a woman. Sis, the nipples are aesthetic. You're alive. 
I almost died trying to do something cosmetic. <laughs> oh, Coming the up. Oh. Where did you get back? Girl, I've been here for about eight months. Eight months? Yeah. <laughs> so what happened to you on Basketball Wives? You know why I'm over you? Why? Because... Tamika, what the was that? I was not an instrument in the demise of that relationship. It's some real But here's what I find interesting. I mean, this is vanity. Because you don't need, you don't have to have it, right? I want to feel how I felt, or as close to how I felt when I had my own natural Nipple. breasts. How do you make light of somebody's complication and injury? You know what I mean? Or, or what they're going through that's so serious. Okay. Okay, I'm done. Oh, thank awesome. you. I have a hard time with this world because everybody's not sensitive enough. And I think some things you have to put into jest because you gotta laugh from keep, to keep from crying about most things. So I care about your pain. I care about what anybody may be going through. But when I think in the scope of how big the problems of the world are, that's the that matters to me. I really don't care if you have nipples or not. You know? So I saw we both RSVP'd for Gaucher's Black Aspen Pool Party. I want to go, but I think for me, I'm not wearing a bathing suit. I'm not. I'm not. I, I cannot do it. Yeah, I'm not wearing a fur either. Oh! Aspen in Atlanta, that's an interesting concept. It feels very Little Kim. Like, but 20 years ago. Hey, I'm not. I do not zip line. Like, that is off limits. But I will go and meet my girl Malaysia and talk a little. <laughs> girl, what is happening? <laughs> My name is Malaysia Pargo. I dropped the Pargo, so it's just Malaysia. And I'm not telling you how old I am because that is not your business. I am definitely a transplant. I'm from LA, but I also like to moonlight in Atlanta. You gotta come, it's invigorating. Hell no. The moment that I have some time to myself, I really like just kind of get adventurous. Zip lining is like one of my like favorites. Come on! Oh no. <laughs> I don't risk my brand, boo. <laughs> I met her years ago. Malaysia was on Basketball Wise at that time. Started doing her hair and we've been cool ever since. And that was over at least 10 years ago. Hey! hey boo. How are you? How did you feel? I know. When did you get back? Girl, I've been here for about eight months. Hey, much. Yeah. <laughs> but you know, like when you just get in the thick of things uh -huh. and getting the kids acclimated and to a whole new system, uh -huh. and I kind of got lost. Oh, wow. So it's not that I, like, I have to, I'm probably going to just explain this to everybody. Yeah. It's no offense. Like, mm -hmm. I just be in my own space. Yeah. And I also have social anxiety. I just went through a traumatic experience, yeah. so I was kind of off of everybody. So what happened to you on Basketball Wives? I was like always being like just critiqued and put down. Oh, and wow. I just said that I never want to be around women like that again. No. I felt like an abused baby mama. So I got my mental together and came back the person that you see in front of you. When's the last time I seen you? I think it was the grand opening. Oh my God. So if it's been since the grand opening, I have four restaurants now. What? So yeah. Yes. <laughs> I used to be known for doing hair, but at some point, you know, it was time for a change. People didn't know that I've always cooked. And my friends, they always said, hey, you should open a restaurant. So in 2018, I decided to open a restaurant. I have Gaucher's Tapas Bar, Gaucher's Breakfast Bar, Gaucher's Breakfast Bar again, and Gaucher's Food Truck. So that's a lot of hustling, boss moves made 
by me, your girl, Go Shay. I wanted to invite you to my party. I'm having a Black Aspen party. Okay. And I know you love a damn thing. I love a thing, <laughs> baby. I'm like, okay. <laughs> I want to introduce you to Crystal, which okay. is Neo's ex-wife. I've met her through Shot, and I know you know Shot. I love Shot. <laughs> my baby. Yeah. Yes. Moneta is one of my best friends, and when Crystal first came on the scene, things were not all great between Moneta and Crystal. So I'm hoping that Crystal is very respectful to my friend. You also know Tamika Raymond, Usher's ex-wife. She's interesting. Uh, <laughs> she's like bougie, but she's cool though. And then Princess, you gotta know Princess. Like, yeah, I princess, know Princess. You know, housewives, all that. I mean, like, as long as these ladies are like cool and not trying to put you down, I'll hang out all day long. Yeah. But the moment it gets stupid, I know how to uh, <laughs> Stage hit you left. with the. <laughs> <laughs> Coming up on Bold and Bougie. I hope I don't feel awkward because I'm obviously telling I don't you know who's you. coming. Yeah, I'm but I don't you. know her. Running up a check, that's a big flex. Hey, how are you? Oh. Oh. Thank you. You okay. can. Let's renovate a home. Let's get it. Currently, I am living in a town home. I love it. Um, doesn't have enough space for my stuff. I'm a collector of things, so I'm kind of running out of space. I chose this as my new home because location, location, location. Honey, I'm home. <laughs> I have been in the market for a house for about six months. So I find this house and it has great bones. It has a lot of what I want, but it needs a lot of help because I really want to live somewhere that reminds me of an Italian villa. Think big picture. Think big, bitch. You Think big. <laughs> my new house, it's nice. It's a great size. I think it's somewhere that I can make as a home for my children who are kind of transitioning out and they're like ready to go to college and stuff like that. But then I have a place they can come back when they want to and hopefully one day I have grandkids and they can run around. So I'm thinking about all those things when I'm thinking of this home. What do we want to start? It currently looks like Aladdin lives here. So we've got to de-Aladdinize. <laughs> Look, cause that needs to go. Like they tried to fix this. Look, they had the nerve. I'm really not bougie. I've established a standard for myself that I'm comfortable with. I like nice stuff, sorry. So Malaysia's into investment properties, so I think she needs to check this out and see if I'm doing the right thing. What's so, up? Yeah. Oh my god. Welcome to gorgeous. my dungeon, my current dungeon. What? You finally call it a dungeon. It's beautiful. You see the potential. Yeah. I absolutely love it. I feel like the house has very great bones. And I can see her making it something amazing. How many friends do we have in common? We have like so many. I know Monietta, right? Yep. Goche. Goche. Yep. Yeah. Oh yeah, she's having her event. Are you going? I am. You are? I am, yeah. What in the world are you gonna wear? I don't know. <laughs> Girl, I have no idea. I have like black aspen with you know what's it? Look at my eyes. Just... Yeah, you were the stylist. Come on. Help me. <laughs> I don't know. I cause I don't know what I would wear to something that's a black aspen. A bikini. Put on a fur. There you go. Are you bringing your boo with you? Absolutely not. I'm a private dater. Yeah. Yeah, so I know you're coming, and then Princess is coming, yeah. and then Crystal's coming. And I don't know Crystal. Oh. My friend Moyetta is ex-fiancés to Crystal's now ex-husband. Malaysia's also connected to her. That's how we met. She is super gorgeous. I thought she had the cutest Bambi, like sleepy eyes, which I love. Randomly, I was on a date, and Tamika was there, and she was like, hey, girl. And I just loved her personality. She's a cool, cool chick from California. I hope I don't feel awkward because I'm I'm obviously I don't know you. Who's coming. I'm yeah, but I don't you. know her. I'm looking forward to going to the party because I get to meet Crystal. I've never met her before. Sometimes when you share an ex, it can be contentious. I've spent a lot of time with Moneta. Um, that's my dog. I'd love to meet her for myself. What I can assure you of today is that I will not have on a fur bikini. 
<laughs> How are you supposed to be but getting wait, a man? Boy? Are they gonna be there? I would assume so. It might be a girl party. That's the thing I'm concerned about. If it's all girls, that's not really for me. The theme is black aspen. So it's like bikini and furs. I'm for sure not wearing no bikini. What I'm are you not wearing, wearing a bathing suit. It's gonna depend on the fur. Okay. I brought the vault. <laughs> oh! I am prepping for Gaucher's black aspen pool party. I do have a fur lady. I invited her over so I could see if maybe one of her furs could match this aspen pool party. Uh, yes, honey. You see what I mean? Yes. She's getting very just landed in Dubai. Dave! Yeah? Can you help me bring those downstairs for cash? Anything for you, Princess. <laughs> Sounded real condescending, like you want to talk to me about these furs. I'm super stressed about my outfit because the reputation of Atlanta is that it's cliquish. I would wear something and someone would be like, where'd you get that? Or, um, you know, hey, did you? who's your stylist? And let's always say, bitch, me. I'm my stylist. So it has to be perfect. I still have no idea what I'm gonna wear. But babe. Yeah? I mean, you know I'm tired. I can't be sitting here looking at you trying outfits and stuff like that. Okay, but you have to be listening. Listening. Thanks. I'm married to an amazing, most awesome, sexy, scrumptious man, Dr. Lofters. I'm gonna call him by his name, honey, Dr. Lofters. Okay, so here's the joke. I don't even know how long I've been married. Either does he, Jeff. We've been together for like 23, married 17-ish. I told you that I had my doctor's appointment. Right. Right? Tamika came with me. Okay. Which was really, really nice. But the only thing that was interesting about it, the reaction was, oh, I'm really sorry that happened. Because it brings all like, like all these right. emotions that I don't think like anybody, I don't want to deal with. I mean, I don't think that me telling you how you should feel about it is the way that anybody would you know, want you to, to go through it. But that's what keeps happening. That was what happened at the doctor's man, man, office. Man. She's just like, I don't know. And I mean, I love her. I'm glad she came. But I just wish people would stop doing that. I think that some of Tamika's comments at the doctor's office didn't sit with me right. This is vanity. But I want to clarify it so that I don't bring it into any other situation. Like, I don't know. It affects everything today alone. Like, the reason why I had to even figure out what I'm doing today is because I, I'm i supposed to be wearing a bathing suit, but it's like I have so many scars as a result of trying well, why to. Why do you gotta explain to people? Breast. Who cares what they think? Coming up on Bold and Bougie. Well, well, well. Oh, hold on now. It's, it's the baddest oh, in the land. Star, Look at you. Star. Crystal is confused. Do you feel a way because of my ex's ex, or are we gonna actually get off to a positive start? Atlanta is filled with female entrepreneurs. It is an epidemic at this rate, and I'm loving it. How was the rush today? Oh, we just were so busy, just a minute ago. I never even liked to cook growing up. And when I got with my ex-husband, there was a lot of scrutiny and rumors, so I got really depressed. And I started cooking, and it kind of became my therapy. God will take your pain, and he will turn it into power. Hey, Johnny's Chicken and Waffles. <laughs> So I just got back from Columbia, and I've been missing my best friend. So I'm excited to like catch all the tea that's going on. So you know, there's a difference between an open and a closed round of plastic. See, I got the open one this time, which is like slightly like I like it's slimmer. You look so, like an old rich white lady. Oh, thank you so much. Shot is so important to me. When I filed for divorce, he was the only person that was like really there for me, that helped me with my kids. He's my everything. He's my other half outside of we don't have sex. I feel like you've been kind of moody lately. I feel like you need to get some out of something. I went on a date recently. We call him Beef Petty. Oh. <laughs> like the Jamaican cop. You know, I, I love Miami. 
Well, we only went on one date, so there's that. No, Miami, Miami. Yeah, that was one date. Miami. <laughs> I know who you're talking about. You're going over there one I went on two. I'm not telling anyone's name, but we're just going to say that um, he hits the field goal. No, that's not a field goal, is it? What's it called, a, a basket? A bu he do that thing right there. That's what he does very well. He hits, he hits the bucket. He gets nothing but buckets. There you go, is that it? No, it's not. Free throw? No, I'm really asking y'all. I met one of your friends earlier. Who? Gaucher. That's my baby. Yeah. Aww. She's having a party this weekend. Oh, cute. So who's gonna be there? Princess, Tamika Raymond, Malaysia. Malaysia's my sis. You know Malaysia, right? Uh, yeah, I know Malaysia. Yeah, I heard yeah. So do you, do you feel like there's gonna be conflict of interest like you and Malaysia? Like, I would hope that she wouldn't have no pressure on her chest about another woman's vagina. And I don't really care to, care about the baby mama because, mm. like, we... I wasn't the reason why they broke up. I don't see me and Malaysia having any issues because we have so many mutual connections. But I have been surprised over and over and over by the motives of people. Babe, I gotta go pick up the kids. Go. No, cheers. I love you so much. I love you It was so great well. to see me. <laughs> Amazing. All your vision. My pool parties are popping. Like, the reason why they're popping because it's just cool ass people coming over to let their hair down and have a f good time. Period. Maybe we should move the balloons right here over a little bit. Okay, so, so you can, can see it. See as soon as they okay. walk in. All right, we'll move yeah. those. I'm hoping that this party turns out amazing because it's extremely important to me to never miss the mark of an opportunity in launching my product. Better not. Are you ready to rock and roll? Yeah. All righty, I'm excited for you. The club blow a stack. Next day, get it back. She got it like that. She got it like that. Hi, everybody. Oh, this is cute. Where is everyone? I guess I'm the first one here. I'm always early, but I expected people to be wearing bikinis and furs, and to my surprise, People were fully dressed. I already said, dead stop. I'm not doing any kind of bathing suit. Even the thought was like so much anxiety, but mostly because I just didn't want people to ask me any questions. Just please don't ask me any questions and mind your business. is confused. It's not on theme. It's very, I just want to put this on and I'm coming to the party how I'm coming. I follow the theme of the party. I have fur on my shoes. Honey, check. <laughs> Thank you. And red and black at that. Oh, cheers, honey. Yes, we're black ass. Okay. Oh, look yeah, at this one with the fur on. Right. It looks like uh, the man off of Game of Thrones. <laughs> this is definitely some Atlanta <laughs> though. We're going to have a party. When it's hot, with the fur, uh -huh. and call it black acid. I love that. What is all this? Wait, I love the color. She, knew she, what she came was to play. Doing. She came to play. Listen, she or knew not. what she was doing. Oh! I keep... oh, my name is Barbie. Barbie. Two of my favorites here. Yes, I love it. Black acid. I think we should take some shots. Yeah, so I think we should. I'll take a fake shot. Sugar, I'm the safe for what? Hey, yo, money always on my mind, two for seven. Crystal, let's get a drink. Oh, we're gonna take a drink. Before things hit the fan, I'm gonna just pull Crystal to the side because I'm confused about the crystal of it all. Let's just clear the air. I just yeah. want to know that from my mouth. 
There is no issue. Okay. I love Mo. I know that you and she are friends, and I came into the picture when they were not together. As long as, like, you are not talking negative about her, then we're good. Like, I'm, not, I'm not talking, I'm not talking and negative. And it seems like you can't even say your name. I don't want to continue to have conversations about my ex, my ex's kid's mom. Understand this, because it's getting a little, you know, I don't want no, you to get aggravated. No, I'm not aggravated. But understand this, like, you are in a situation, we're in Atlanta, you know, and everyone that's probably in here knows her or is close no, to her. No, and that's fine. This conversation is making me feel like, do you feel a way because of my ex's ex, or are we gonna actually get off to a positive start? If it were left up to me, I don't want to talk about it. Coming up on Bold and Bougie. So I lost both of my breasts. Not here, like everybody's having fun. Up to me, I don't want to talk about it yeah, at all. I, I feel like we all can say that. You know, yes. every woman in here, well, except for Princess, can say that they don't want to talk about their ex. That, yeah. Like, exactly. we're moving in a different direction. So I'm not being confrontational at all. Mm -hmm. I am being like super duper caring because I do want to get to know you. Get to know me for face value, uh -huh. and that's it. If you choose to not like that person, then that's okay, that's respectful. You ladies don't know me. You don't know the ins and outs of my family dynamic whatsoever. And honestly, at the end of the day, I don't owe any of you bitches any explanation, conversation, or anything in regards to Monietta, my ex-husband, or anybody involved in the Smith Foundation, okay? You know, we're gonna all be around each other. I feel like, let's just go over there. Some you never know. You can't tell, then it's best you let them go. Uh. Hey, come on, y'all. Where'd the shop person go? Are we going to the bar? I was telling Gauche and Crystal I was not I gonna be wearing a bikini. I couldn't even wear a bathing suit tonight. I was like, don't nobody fall. I can tell you when Tank gets here. Okay. I got I gotta tell Gauche because now I didn't start, you know when you start something? Uh -huh. And it's like, well, what's going on? Because when yeah, she was because, texting like, me, you already started it, so you gotta finish it. Uh, like, I'm gonna, fi I'm gonna finish it because I gotta tell, I gotta tell Tamika. I don't know what happened to Tamika. I'm gonna tell Tamika too. Speaking of, where is she? So I didn't know what to wear, and I just was confused. I'm kind of a gypsy. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm just here. Speaking <laughs> of, oh, you like you. How are you? I'm trying to figure out. Hey, girl, how sorry. You? How are you? How I'm you trying doing? to figure out, like, she oh, said that she's, she's, she's so... not wearing a swimsuit, but she needed you to be here oh. to tell me why she's not wearing a swimsuit. <laughs> and so you're here now. Yeah. So go chase here as well. Oh my God, what is this? So what? She needs it's to tell us crap. why oh, she's yeah, not wearing a swimsuit. Right <sighs> okay, it's gonna be a Band-Aid. Ready? I'm late, I need to catch up. <laughs> so. Seven years ago. I'm gonna take a shot before you start this story. Well, you need to take a shot, yes. So I lost both of my breasts from um, a complication from a breast, a simple breast reduction. And it was like the most traumatic thing. It literally changed my life. And something like this, like, oh, just put on a bathing suit and come and hang out. And we talked about this. It's like, it's not that easy for me. I can't just. You know what I mean? Because it's still like I have scars, I have emotional scars, I'm triggered by putting on. Oh, see? You... <laughs> I'm mortified because I was badgering this woman about not having a swimsuit on when there is a real life issue. I feel sad for her to be missing a part of, like, you know, your lady parts. To have, like, scarred your body, that has to be a hard pill to swallow, and my heart just goes out to her. Hmm. Like, not here. Like, everybody's having fun. Not here. Let's not do this here. Not now. This is a cute yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, I was concerned. Why? Because it was giving little Kim. I was like, Oh, my God. And I love, but no, I love Kim. I, mean, I did say it was like, like, little Kim. 30 years ago. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Who is that? Cool. Y'all both single, right? Cool. Yeah. I'm very single. Uh-oh. <laughs> Sweat stuttering. I, I mean. Is that Crystal? Yeah. I knew, I mean, I've seen her, obviously. I don't, but I don't know her. Let me you go never seen her before? I've never met her. I've never seen her in person. This is first time, first in my life. My concern is, are, I need to know if she and Mo are cool. Because Mo is my dog. 
Okay. Mm. Uh oh. <laughs> I don't like that. I don't oh, like that. my girl too. That's, so that's my doggy dog though. Oh damn. So let me go meet her. Okay. All right. I did not foresee any type of problems with this group of girls. Like, literally, when I spoke to everyone, everyone was like, cool, except for Tamika. She already was like, Crystal, like, Crystal who? Something about the name Crystal did not sit right with her. Yes, yes. <laughs> I know nothing about Crystal's home wrecking rumors or whatever. I pride myself on not taking in the negative. I'm trying to get to that place where I like can even feel comfortable like going out and being like my kids. Hey, I'm girl. finally getting like my weekends off and that's oh. the first time in. Like, no, I was gonna say hi because I so, realized I didn't, I've never met her. Like, uh oh, somebody's about to get in trouble. And that's the first time in. No, I was like, gonna say I hi because so, I realized I didn't, I've never met I'm her. Like, oh. Um, I realized I didn't meet you. I'm Tamika. It's okay. I'm Crystal. It's nice, nice to meet you. you. Um, I only know of you. You know, I'm, and I'm uh, tight with Mo. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So good. Okay. I'm so loyal. I'm loyal to a flaw. Uh -oh. So wait, why are you saying that you're loyal to Mo? Wait, what? Didn't y'all just say hi? I don't have nothing. So you, good. you. Oh my. God. So, Manetta is one of my closest friends as well, and I would never introduce myself to another woman as her friend, you know? I get it, you wanna have your friends back, and you want to introduce and represent yourself as such, but that's kind of weird to me, and I feel like it's almost like a threat. What happened? No, nothing happened. It was an introductory. It's fine. And what's she saying? No, it's basically saying that she's friends with um, my ex's baby mom, and that, you know, that's her friend. But, yeah. Listen. Well, I wouldn't expect anybody here saying, like, oh, that's my girl, and la da 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 like. Oh, well, I, I 100,000% expected that, which is why I stay home. Even though, you know, what's going on with Tamika right now. It's a little like, mm. Goshe has my back right now, and she's making me feel comfortable and welcome in her home. Like, she's a real ass woman. I want us all to feel comfortable. And like, she's not no food. She play on the internet, so she understands that she knows that she's here with most friends. We do have to get to know her. I know. We have to be fair. Moyetta and I were on a show previously called Atlanta Exes, and we had a sisterhood there as well. I believe in standing down for my friends and holding them down. Hi. Oh, we're blocking the bar. I'm sorry. Oh, this is my sorry. friend, Princess. Hi. Princess. Oh, you're princess yeah. too? Princess. Dr. Princess. Oh, okay. I'm Dr. Princess. Yes. Yes. You are coming to Tamika. Hi, Tamika. Hi, nice to meet you. you. What type of doctor are you? So I practice um, family practice, but I do um, aesthetics, Botox, fillers, IV therapy, weight loss, anything dealing with making you look good. I need all of that fixing. No, I still you ain't need nothing fixed. You look good. I know. But there's a backstory. There's a backstory. Yeah, still look good. We're not talking about the backstory. No, to me, that's to me, they're like so over me. me. Oh, you know why I'm over you? Why? Because it's vanity. I mean, there's girl, so much work that can happen in life. Like, this. we can say that because we have ours. You, thank yeah, you. True, true. True. That's, and that's true. what I was gonna true. say, is when people say to me that, oh, it's vanity and, you know, don't worry about it, it's yeah. just boobs. I didn't have any for like five years. I got in the car like, Tamika don't care. I know, I, I didn't get a damn degree in psychotherapy, so I just did what I thought would be good. Well, then you did say it's vanity again tonight. Okay, sorry. 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 Okay. I addressed it, she apologized. I think we have an understanding and we can put it past us. We can move on, child. We can move on. All right, so I wanted to make sure that I extended my gratitude for everyone who came out tonight. Tonight, you guys are a part of a launch of my grits and pancakes for Gauthier's Breakfast Bar. So thank you all for being a part of my launch. Hi. So how was
we gonna do this, Tamika, because yeah. you can yeah. me. Yeah. No, I am too. No, so we were talking and stuff, and obviously we were talking about Talk the elephant in the room. Okay, all I'm trying to say is, I just remember that when my dear girlfriend, Monetta, was dealing with her I just remember you guys initially weren't the best, right? Not initially, I don't want initial. Right. Right, right, right. I was a woman. I was a woman coming in. So, I, absolutely. So we all I remember our... is her, her hurt regarding that. So I'm defensive because I, I know how that feels. It's rough. But guess what? Guess what? And, and Nail I, you there. So can I speak? Can, so, so, can I speak? I was not an instrument in the demise of that relationship. So I don't feel like I should be penalized because of what happened with, between them. Because what I'm going through presently, currently, right now, is some real. Is what she was trying to tell you. She didn't try to tell me nothing. She went through her experience. I'm going through my experience now. And I feel like as, as women, I feel like as women, we all have gone through things with, with men that like, damn, can you feel me? Yeah. Can you like understand? Like, I know you you felt pain. Like, we've all gone through yeah. stuff because of a man. I and feel, we, and we, we battle against each other because of what a man has done. I feel like I'm in people's business. No, but it's, but it's no, okay I because, feel like because I'm it in has people's to, business. No, I don't like but that. Listen, but You're listen, it has to be business. spoken about. Whatever they're going through or whatever the situation is, it doesn't have anything to do with you. So you can't take sides based on that's your I'm friend. I'm not taking, no, no, no. That's what I was saying. I feel like I'm out of my, I'm out of my business level. In fact, it's time to go, yeah. Yeah, I love y'all. I'm sorry. And it's so nice to meet you. And it's nice to and meet I you as well. Rude. Tamika, what the f was that? Good night, guys. All right, bye.